All right, President Obama <laughs> signed a bill today completely reworking the nation's patent laws. The administration says the new legislation will help entrepreneurs and businesses turn their ideas into products a lot faster, spur innovation, and create thousands of new jobs. But Gary Lauder, managing director at Silicon Valley-based venture capital firm Lauder Partners, says the new, what he calls red tape, will actually stifle growth and kill jobs. He's joining us now for our special series, Regulation Nation. Gary, uh, what's behind your theory here? I've, I've spoken to the CEOs of both bigger and medium-sized technology companies, and I simply asked them in emails, is this good or bad? And nine times out of ten, I got one word, good. Well, you ask big companies and medium companies, but not small companies mm -hmm. or individual invent inventors. And when they, if they had been part of the process, the outcome might have been a little different. Um, there are a number of things wrong with this. In particular, the, uh, the change to first to file and post grant review. So, first to file basically means that uh, people need to file early and often. And it flies in the face of the way small companies operate today. Today, they have to uh, they get an idea and then they go research it and they talk to potential customers and then they talk to in in investors, myself and others. Um, and uh, and they basically explore with other people whether this is a good idea and if so how to go about doing it. The process of exploring this with other people was great under our system that we've had for over 200 years, the first to invent system. But under first to file, it puts one at risk of somebody else either applying for that in lieu of you fraudulently, but it happens, mm -hmm. or somebody uh, publicizing information about it, which without citing you, which will prevent you from getting a patent. Gary, at the also, risk of at the risk of oversimplification here, just to speed things along, what it seems to be what you're saying: whoever hires the fastest lawyer wins. Is that right? Um, well, it's not, it's not that simple. I'd say yes, that's true, but it's not that simple because often the, uh, uh, for an inventor, they need to iterate on a number of times to, uh, to make lots of changes. And so each time you have a new idea, you would need to file at that time, ideally, to protect it. And so this would be either very expensive or you're taking a lot of risks between the time you get these okay. ideas and you actually you're file. never going to make everybody happy. Never. Uh, does this at least that make two-thirds happy? And to that end, isn't this then decent legislation? That okay, both well, sides, frankly, this was bipartisan. Both sides like this. Uh, you, uh, so is Sarbanes-Oxley. So, uh, Sarbanes-Oxley passed by uh, 98 or 99 votes. And that wasn't, didn't seem to be such a great idea in retrospect, but that's still on our books. Um, when you say two-thirds, uh, it's worth pointing out that, you know, who are the main users and beneficiaries of the patent system? I would argue that it's primarily small companies. Most large companies don't need it as much, but they're the ones who had the representation Okay, but can I just say, I mean, uh, we just saw a big purchase by Google of a big mm -hmm. tranche of what we saw, which was a lot of different patents coming from one single company. And you look at that and you say, okay, that was a big company. Absolutely. Well, I guess my point is this. Motorola. Um, it's, yeah, sure. But it's not an existential threat for these companies. Small companies exist or cease to exist based largely on their IP and their patents. Google will be around, Android will be around. Google actually was a major proponent of this uh, originally when it would have reduced patent rights because Google has market power without the, uh, without the benefit of patents. Once they got into the cell phone field as a new entrant, they discovered that the, um, the pre-existing inventors had rights against them and that's how, why they decided to go out and increase their IP portfolio. Okay. Uh, so the fact that, they're, that, uh, that they went out and bought this doesn't mean IP isn't important. Clearly it's important. The issue is that small companies live and die based on this. Big companies don't really. Gotcha. All right, Gary Lauder, Managing Director of Lauder Partners. Good to see you, Gary. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. New stars, remakes, brand new.